Operation Guns, Vampire Survivors, what more could you want? Ariana, Hectic Highway, new stage, new DLC. Let's see if I can do this with Curse actually on. Uh, this is a bad, bad idea. Oh. But her ability to gain health or armor from movement speed means she might have the required durability to actually win. Wait, he's off to the left. Oh, there we go. Let's just max out just in case. Really shouldn't need any banishes, but... Gotta be hard to fire. Bracer, I do not mean bracer. Spread gun evolves with empty tome, right? Yeah. That's a good pickup. Oh man, I don't... Now, wave spray gun works. I'll trade off duplicator for some. Spread shot. Two more projectiles. That means two more hearts of fire going out. Okay. Now, do I want candle operator or not? I think maybe with the way her projectiles fire, I do not. Do need spinach though. Want to get all that damage up. Alrighty, I have one more shot. Or no, I have two more slots. Empty tomes, one of them. Perhaps I could get Candle Operator. Oh, right, I had the Fire Fury passive thing boosted me up there. 10 armor. That's a lot of armor. And I do have the chance of getting an Armadillo. Sweet empty tome. Definitely a lot better than the other guns already. It's really telling. Ooh, double shotted. Oh, I don't want to take you out yet. I don't have enough to evolve. I want to evolve ASAP. So let's spend all my level ups doing that. Actually, all well, right, because I have curse on. That's why they're getting in so hard. Oh, dang it. Got him by accident. Okay, well, hold out for the next one. Okay, that'll guarantee that. Oh, I didn't destroy that car. Weird. That's what, 13 armor now? That's an incredible amount of armor. 14. 14 armor. Not a lot gets through that, even at the end. I mean, damage doesn't go up with curse. It's just... Health, speed, frequency. Oh, maybe it does. I swear there were four of them. Hey, grenade, nice. Let's see. Hmm. Do I want duplicator or do I want candle operator? I think duplicator for sheer volume would work out better. I mean, bigger hits don't really matter without super pierce. In fact, I probably shouldn't have been getting Can Arbiter on Bill either. That was not very helpful. Oh, right. Tier Jisoo is also an option. That would have been very good. Oh, the dang Starburst distracted me. I knew the boss was there. Ooh, just a wave of destruction now with it maxed out. Excellent. <laughs> wow, that level up storm completely changed the paradigm here. Uh, I mean, Bill was able to do this too. So, doesn't give the best chance at the end, but still, it is a chance, especially once I can actually evolve it into whatever form it goes. Oh, Arcana, gotta get you. Okay. Now, bouncy shots with this should be excellent. Once I can evolve it, anyway. Yeah, that'll give me the back clearance I need. Did I get another chest? No. Oh man, look at that go. It's just a cone of victory. Nothing can even spawn in. 
Well, it can spawn in, but it's not getting far. Too bad that won't matter for the final troublesome waves. Okay, six minutes. That means the next boss should be popping up soon. I didn't even see it. Ooh. Yeah, it has to evolve. Won't get that Tronus box maxed out there. And now, because they're so far back, I can do dumb things. I gotta evolve. And gotta banish. Good. Now, with the sheer projectile on speed, I will probably want to grab as much might as I can. Because even with 16 armor... What the heck? Oh, the snakes spawn at the bottom for some reason. Goal is Pierce, Mount, and Might. I don't need area. I clearly don't need area. No, oh, missed the chest. Can't go missing all those chests. I still 100% do need the Tense, the Armadillo, to get the Tira Jisu. Can't get Pierce in the Mount, right? No, oh, there's another chest I missed. Bosses really don't have much chance. What? How did you get on the bottom? I can angle this better. Yeah, now I can hit most of the screen at once. Or, speaking of that, I gotta speed around. Yeah, any area is not very helpful here. I made the right call not grabbing the Candle Labrador. Yeah, there's a mountain one. Sets... One more spread out in the wave. Oh boy, these are getting in. That's not good. Yeah, I know I was fighting up north, but still. They are a lot less durable than the dang walkers at the end. Granted, I am much more durable than the others can be. Ariana is. It's a very good bonus, especially if you go things that would actually benefit, like a vine bloodline. Sure, might and cooldown are good and all. They have nothing on the ability to survive terrible situations like this. Crab battle. Alright, I turn random events back on. Dang it, Armadillo'd. No, I missed it. No, I got it. That was just the second chest. Oh, despite what it looks like, they're not actually getting in. I still have my barrier up. Oh, no, they're starting to do damage. Okay, keep an eye on that yellow arrow. Barely getting in anyway. Dang it, another non armadillo. Okay, 12 minutes coming up. That means it's time for the Arcana to start spawning in. So let's hope it spawns in on the left and I can... Oh, there it is. Or a Logian, really? Oh man, this is going to be really dicey. I have enough time to speed grab it on the back end, but still. Why does it seem to work better firing backwards? Oh, now I have even more spread shot. There was a drowner. Really? Oh, area. I grabbed area by mistake. Whoa. Whoa. I can't actually hit him. Oh, this is terrible. That was crazy. What the heck? That yeah, was really bad. Arcana guy, get back here. I need your chest bad. I can't afford another loss. Revive. Without the bonus given. I know you're the Arcana enemy. Oh, dang it, I got area again. 
can't take any damage because it keeps getting pushed off screen to the north for some reason. Perhaps I should stop shooting it. There we go. Why does it keep... Why? 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 I just want your delicious chest. Oh, man. I know she can do this. She can. I just, you know, need things to work out. You know, not getting drowned on wasting life, getting the actual arcana chest. Not having just pushed back infinitely. Dang it. Crab battle again, really? What is going on? So, it looks like Sprite Gun actually doesn't do Pierce. That's strange. I swear I had it Pierce. Before. Or Prototype C. Maybe Sprite Gun does, but Prototype doesn't. Which would be very strange. But I don't know if the other Prototypes did it either, huh? Yeah, that figures. Man, the random events have been mean this run. No! Are you kidding me? Now. Now of all times. I have to rush this like mad. I have 30 seconds to somehow loop around, grab that, or maybe hope that the spawning wave isn't so bad. Which I doubt. Come on, go fast. I have wings. She can keep them pushed back. Excellent. She can do this. Er, she can't? Yes, yeah, she can. I'll even show off the curse at the end just to make sure. Well, granted the fact that this is easily comparable to them. But yep, she's definitely better. Her spread gun's definitely better. Well, it is spread gun entirely. Her bonus is purely defensive. Drowner, really, again. I can't move. I can't risk him spawning up again. It's too dangerous. Ooh, that's a lot of levels spawned in. Almost everything I have is in might except for that one that gave me another projectile. It's about 25% more might, which isn't much, but the counter guns tend to have a lot of upfront damage compared to others, so this is generally more valuable than it would be for most other weapons. Granted, I'm still doing 29, so it's still not a lot, but most enemies don't have that much health, so. It's a lot of might. Okay, that was like, what, 30 levels? Yeah, spread gun supremacy, even in this. Yeah, the sheer number of shots it shoots out, just completely different, but... Yeah, it's probably the best weapon so far. Well, obviously. I have two comparisons. Long gun, which is okay, and short gun, which is bad. So she might be able to do dairy plant with no trouble. That's dairy plant. Dairy plant. Well, let's see how the regular spread gun does. If it gets pierce... Has a lot of good potentiality to go with that bouncing. No other Karna would really benefit it. Shortgun barely benefits. Or Prototype B, I guess, barely benefits. And one try, she manages to get some Operation Guns Vampire Survivor and done. Pretty good. Prototype C, 28.5 million. Uh, 1738. 17384. That's what I meant. But yeah, Ariana, pretty dang strong. And I didn't even get her bonus. Spread, or spread gun really strong. Her bonus side good. But yep, yeah, there's curse, there's charm, and I guess the fang. I mean I could get rid of her, but who cares? That's one done. Time to go to the dairy plant. Alright, time for round two. Operation Guns, Vampire Survivors, Ariana. Going over to the old dairy plant. 
And she is not going to be evolving the spread gun. Just pure raw spread gun in action here. Oh, hey, wings and armor on the map. That's going to be tricky. Pick a card and carve no one to stop. Just in case. Feels a bit dopey just grabbing Heart of Fire, but it's so amazing. And Arbador is also on the map. Empty Tome right away, heck yeah. And throw in his box right away. And the weapon power. Spellbinder is not helpful whatsoever. And max out the Empty Tome ASAP. Things are going to be looking good. Okay, I have Wings, Armor, and Candle Arbor on the map, so I could get Crown with no downside. Probably Tiradisu, too. Huh. Yep, there's Tiradisu. Just in case. I don't think she'll need it, but still, that final wave put Mina on the ground. She's probably one of the strongest characters around. Spreadshot. I want to evolve. Don't evolve. I did it again. Oh well. Hopefully that level 8 isn't too helpful. It's amazing, isn't it? Right, technically I could banish Conan I. Banish the evolution and collection. Oh, spinach. No, oh, spinach. Oh, wait, I can't grab it yet. Power-up counts. Doesn't count. Oh, what? What was that? I mean, I could just not grab any chest. That's an option. Oh, right, I can't get bouncy. Because that's only for the prototype. Hmm... Two more projectiles. They speed up even farther. Cooldown reduced and base damage up. Uh, I mean, like I said, I could just try and not grab any chests. Do I really trust myself to do that? Nope, I'm taking a power hit. A very large power hit. Wow. There's a lot of power-ups stacking together. Well, incredible wave clear. Let's see if she can get some pierce, or if it's only going to be a mountain. Such... Oh, just crown levels next. Hopefully I can grab duplicator before I get too close to the wings. Oh, there they are. Yeah, you could have not grabbed empty tome, but ha 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 ha. What a silly idea that would be. Uh, so I might just end up going in a line. It's a lot better wave clear. I don't have to worry about just corridoring like I did with Bill. Or whatever the heck Lance was doing in the end. Failing, failing sounds right. Definitely a character that's stronger, though, with more weapons. Shortgun is just pretty bad. There you are, duplicator. Now I can grab that wings right away. All right. My Taglio is up next. And if they're getting close, it's hard for her to clear them out. Or if something's durable like that, whoa. Chaff, good. Big bosses, less doable. Yeah, I mean, she's going to have a lot of trouble with the Atlanteans, huh? My damage is already as high as it's going to go. In fact, it's already showing off that things are pretty durable. Boy, I got to hope I get Pierce.
Problem limit break. You can call me Hawkeye. Yeah, Pierce, excellent. Still gonna have its troubles, but still. I'll really help it out. Help it out a lot now. Especially if it gets caught. Stalker, no. Wow, three Pierces in a row. It's an interesting trade-off, because unless I just got the worst luck imaginable, which... It didn't look like she got the prototype C got the benefit of Pierce. Had one amount, but nothing else. I can get Armadillo, so still valuable to try and grab them. Ooh, right. Yes, I carded the stalker. Good. What? No. Another one just immediately shows up. Oh, dang it, I missed that one. Okay. Oh, didn't want to get area. Oh. A ghost moved it out of the way. Are you kidding me? More Pierce. Okay, I think Stalker's... Nope. Man, the sheer number of mobs is actually making it really difficult, despite the fact that I have one of the best chances to actually hit the guy with it. The sheer number of mobs is making it nigh impossible. Man, that's a lot of Pierce I've gotten. Yikes, I can basically hit the entire... Wow. Is it, like, equal to Might and Area? Because that is way, way too much Pierce chance. No amount, though. Well, I think Stalker's gone at this point. Bloody hard to tell, though. Oh, right, Bone Pillar. Random event. <laughs> that doesn't help. Yeah, this is probably one of the weapons, as long as... It was, yes, you can't get pierced with the evolution. This might be a weapon that's actually got good valid points to have both one both of all evolutions of evolutions and not evolving. You get so much wave clear with the other one and you get bouncy shots. This one you get infinite pierce, which well does this. Oh wow, it hits you with that. What? Why did it snap to the left like that? Oh, right. I... Stalker was causing me to muck around too much. And more Bone Pillar nonsense, of course. Wow. A lot of stuff dropping. Not like she has that much luck, right? Yeah, just 60. I haven't grabbed anything particular. Having some life... Assistance is going to be helpful. That final wave is still going to be a beast no matter what I do. Oh, you're the boss. Ooh, vacuum. That's going to be incredible. There you go. Maybe Armadillo. Nope. How would I even get with Armadillo? I don't think anything would be helpful. Now ah, there's all my level ups. Yeah, I think I have the pierce cap. Maybe. Hmm. Oh, right. Get the arcana. I don't need anything. Man, that was a long way ago. And level ups will be a lot more frequent. I guess I could get Bracer. Eh, probably don't need it. Final Wave's the only ones that are going to be bad, and I'll have 16 armor for then. 
16 armor for then. Still, I'd rather be on the safe side with 21 armor. Things go really bad. Oh, dang Atlantean. Yeah, they're not very good at fighting the Atlanteans, like at all. Oh, blow up. Well, I know you're not dead. You just teleported off screen right at the worst time, huh? There you are. Might. The might of the gods. Da, 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 da. So I finally managed to get off my lazy rear and watch Stump's first video of the Contra stuff. I don't know what the adventures are about, but man, if it was 20 seconds, they got it. Last second, because they kept running into the Atlanteans. I do it all the time, but man, man, they were so close. If it was 20, I mean, it probably would have. Neo Galaga's normally 30, but adventurers have different times. Is the adventure just the normal map? I know, it's hard to tell sometimes. Well, not like I would know. I haven't touched the adventures. Heck, I haven't even touched the adventures for the Among Us stuff. Get that emergency meeting DLC for Vampire Survivors going. That means I might finally do stuff like watch Dex's videos. He always does crazy stuff. Nice to know that even in Vampire Survivors, the spread shot is very strong. Alright, oh, I have tier NFT, so I can burn things. Burn them good. Oh wait, I have seven revives. Getting a lot of direct levels anymore. Hmm, my kills are actually falling down pretty badly. Huh, what happened? Well, no, if I have this. Put out as much damage on him as I can muster. And of course, there's a duplicate Atlantean. Why would anything be easy? Well, because I put it on the hardest possible mo- Well, not hardest, because I didn't put Wicked Season on. But I don't want to mess with Wicked Season. I'm not good enough at the game for that. And yet, I decided to span a thousands long video series on it. Go figure. Oh man, she's not punching through at all. And the damage just isn't there. These are the small bots. This is bad. Because the... Oh, man, I could actually... Gosh, she's not taking them out. I still have ten minutes to go. I have to pick and choose corridors. This is bad. This is very bad. I can't really do anything to improve my damage more other than dying a bit. I gotta get Candelabra to work. That isn't gonna do anything, really. I think my survivability is gonna go up. Uh, I mean, I guess Rondo of Gold would increase my survivability. I mean, the Skeleton Wave isn't much, that's for sure. Yeah, she can't push back. This doesn't have much pushback. What do I have? What can I do? Well, it's holding out its own for now, but final waves are so crazy on this map. I mean, short of hectic, short of laboratory, probably the worst. 
because the laboratories is completely out of tune. Like, wow. Of course I run right into it. Hey, might. Maybe if I had more might levels and less non-might levels. Well, not that I would have needed Armadillo for anything, but still. Oh, there's my Arcana. Oh, that was lucky. Alright, what are my options here? Okay. Does nothing, does nothing. Is excellent, but I don't want to rely on Divine Bloodline unless I have to. Oh, I've only got four revives left. I can't believe I burned three revives. Jeez. I mean, beginning is more shots. It's the only thing that improves my damage. The only other thing that can improve my damage. Oh, hey, chicken's nice. Maybe I could have gone, should have gone for survivability instead. I'm always going to go too aggro. Oh, there's another Atlantean down. Not even the one I was... That should have gone down. There we go. That was, took too long. Huh, that's odd. Whoa. What happened there? I mean, they're getting toasted... But yeah, that was way too much damage. That was like if something huge hit me. I have 19 armor. I should basically be invulnerable. Cockatrice is... Is that a normal spawn here? I can't remember. I'm gonna... What could have even caught me? I'm confused. Did the boss spawn into me or something? Oh man, three revives. This is looking very dicey. Uh oh. Don't stop moving. I don't have that luxury. This is with increasingly high health, too. What the heck? Oh man, it's just not getting that final thing causing so much issue. Five damage and a bit faster of a cooldown. Also, my luck on random other stuff has turned completely off head. This is really, really bad. Oh, is it in the wall? Oh, that one's in the wall, of course. Okay, I have one more revive. Oh, put me up to... 23 armor max. Should be enough to survive. Things wanted to play sane. Okay, that's a lot of stuff up there, but I don't know if I'm going to have the time to grab it all. Especially if I get stuck on something. Uh-oh. There is an Orologi in there. Okay, double chicken. More chicken, more chicken. More chicken. Orologi in. That should last long enough with Silver Ring and Torona's box to max me out. 
And I don't win through any skill. I win through pure luck and random events. But I win. Yay. Also, Dairy Plant is still ridiculously hard. Huh. Maybe if I had the bouncy sh Well, obviously if I had the bouncy shots with the evolution, it would have been better. I would have been so much more damage. But yeah. The Pierce does mean you could run this solo without too much trouble. You know, if you actually got it to 8 and maximize its, its power. But that's some more Operation Guns with Vampire Survivors done. That spread shot was a thing of beauty. Alrighty. And Ariana with one shot of multiple shots on two maps is taking some two more on the Baswick. One shotting Dairy Plant and Hectic Highway is a very nice feather in anyone's cap. And that takes us down to 1,677 more to go. I'm making progress. Thank you all for watching. I appreciate anyone who's liked, disliked, commented, or subscribed. You want to be able to say, comment section is wide open. And a subscription to support the channel would be appreciated. Otherwise, have a good day and keep messing around in Vampire Survivors.